be used for your glory. To you we give all the praise. To you we give all the praise. To you we give all the praise. Let our lives be used for your glory. To you we give all the praise. We are singing Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We are singing Hallelujah. Let our lives be used for Your glory. We are singing Hallelujah. Our Father and our God, we bless you. King of glory, Lord of hosts, the Prince of peace, everlasting Father, the mighty God, the I am that I am, I will be your name. Father, we are grateful for drawing us closer. We are grateful for showing us mercy. We are grateful for your kindness towards us. We are grateful for giving us understanding. We are grateful for you. We never leave us nor forsake us. We are grateful for your word that is yea and amen. We are grateful for you are the God of our comforts. We are grateful even in time of crisis, you are with us. Glory be to your holy name. Father, glory be to your holy name. Thank you for you are not a man that should lie or repent. Forever you are God, yes. God above gods, yes. God that is uncomparable. Yes, Father, we thank you. Thank you we want to know you more. You. We want to know more of you. you. We want to relate with you in a better way. Yes. Father, we know you, you, you are unchangeable, yes, unchangeable changer. Yes, Glory to your name. Amen. We have come this morning. Father, to show appreciation. Father, because you spared our life. Many people are dying on a daily basis, every second, every minute. Souls are perishing. Father, we thank you. For you know the reason why you have kept us alive. Forever we shall be grateful. We bless you, Lord. Glory to your holy name. Thank you for a better understanding. Thank you for a better revelation. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. We shall not do anything of the flesh today. Let your Holy Spirit fill us to the brim. Let your Holy Spirit lead us. Let your Holy Spirit direct us. Let your Holy Spirit speak through us. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way. Today's your day, have your way. We surrender unto you, O Lord. Everything about us. Have your way. Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, be in charge. Holy Spirit, you are the only one that can make war cease. Both spiritual and physical war going on around us in the world. Father, Holy Spirit, honor your name over every situation. Put stop to all these battles in the name of Jesus. All this wars going on. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Because no one knows where it's going to extend to, Amen. when it's going to stop. But you know from the beginning to the end. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you for you are the beginning and the ending Amen. until you be your precious. Amen. Today, we commit everyone into your good hand. Amen. Those that will be listening to us Amen. and those that are in far places. Amen. Those that will not be aware of this program, those that will listen to it on radio later, Father, glorify your name. Give us better understanding. Lord, let our status be changed for better from today. Let our understanding, Lord, be led by the Holy Spirit and let Jesus be magnified. As we shall be lifting you up, you will drop people 
Lord, uncountable to yourself. Mm -hmm. And the kingdom of the enemy will suffer. Mm -hmm. Why in heaven there shall be joy mm -hmm. over every sinner that will repent. Mm -hmm. Even as the message is going on today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you you are worthy of our praises. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. What a glorious Sunday uh, we have today. It has been a wonderful time. God has been so faithful, giving us good health, holding our steps, directing the affairs of our lives. Many people, they are in the hospital. Many people, they are bedridden. Many people could not even eat, they do not have appetite. Uh, something came up on, uh, I think, Facebook today. A young boy of about 10 years or so who was, you know, beaten by three friends. They were not even friends, maybe neighbors, you see, and with uh, sh sham, with uh, uh, ring sham or whatever juju sham they use on him. And the young boy started barking like dog, barking like cats, barking like goats. What a terrible world we are living in. So I titled that this today's message, What a Wicked World. Don't be surprised. We do not need anyone to tell us. Everything around us shows that Satan is at the helm of affairs. And this has been a long time. You know, the, 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 from Revelation chapter 12, since the, the detriment of the devil to the earth, the earth is being placed under a curse. Only the people at the helm of affairs are managing, you know, the world system. So where God is honored, uh, they, they, they will not feel it too much. But where God is not honored, where, where people do not know God, because the Bible says they that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. Some countries where we see people doing exploit is because uh, probably partially they know God. Partially, you know, uh, or ignorantly, you know, they claim to know God, but they have Quality characters. Let me put it that way. Because character shows whether we are serving a living God or not. There are some places they do not have, they, did, they didn't know the true God, but yet they have characters. Unlike in Nigeria. No good, no, 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 uh, the living God is not known, and the people there are terrible, they are bad. You see? The mothers, the way they treat their children, is as if they are not the one that gave birth to them. So many terrible things happening around us. The so-called pastors, they are even more terrible because of money. The love of money has taken over so many nations, so many countries of the world today. There, we still have some countries like um, this place, what is it called? Where we went to buy vehicles the other time. Uh, where the president is riding bike. Not even motorcycle. I mean, uh, bicycle. President riding bicycle. But in, in African countries, the best of the best. With Emperor following them. The resources of nation have been wasted. What a wicked world we live in. Father, we thank you for as many as will be joining us. You shall be filled with the power of God, every one of you, and every need concerning you shall be met, even after this message. So I want to welcome us to the program, whether you are on YouTube or you are on Facebook, or probably you are going to follow us up on Wednesday uh, at Rock City in Abekuta 101.9 you are blessed and you are welcome amen 
What a wicked world. We are taking our reading from Revelation 12. Things are just getting worse and worse, and it will continue to get worse. Because until when Satan is no more in this world, and when would that happen? It can start from you and I. We submit to God, we receive the devil. If we are not joining the cabal of people that will surrender to Satan, if your life is free of Satan, that has deceived the whole world, that is what the Bible says, Satan, you better check yourself. Don't be overconfident that probably I am free. No, you are not free until you are free. And it's only, freedom is only in Christ Jesus. Jesus is the only one that encountered the devil and resisted him, commanded him, get it behind me, Satan. Satan couldn't even recognize Jesus. The reason why he stood before him to tempt him, he wouldn't have done that mistake. It was a silly mistake for him. So you and I, we can become, when we are enveloped ourselves in Christ, when we swallow the word of God, which is Jesus Christ, when we know who we are in Christ, Satan will run away from us. From time to time, we need to check ourselves. It is possible. Don't go after the crowd. Don't judge a book by the cover. Don't celebrate the word pastor that everybody is celebrating. You can be deceived. Satan, that has deceived the whole world, the world cannot be deceived except through religion. One religion or the other. You can see that we have different religions. Different religions with different gods. That report is in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, 5 and 6. Don't be a fool. Walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. Your personal salvation. Salvation is personal. It's not a family affair. Because you are born into Christian uh, religion, that doesn't make you a Christian. Work out your salvation. Ask yourself questions. Am I in tune with heaven? Am I into good relationship with my maker? Because the Bible says, if a man's ways pleases the Lord, you see, is your way pleasing God? Forget about enemies. All this prayer we are praying in Nigeria. Oh, fall and die. Oh, holy ghost fire. Destroy them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, they are not necessary. The Bible says, if a man's ways pleases the Lord, do you know your enemies? The Bible says, one's own enemies are the, his own family household. One's household people, relations, People that are familiar with you, they are your number one enemies. A mother can be an enemy to the children. Doesn't care whether she's the one that gave birth to them. A father can decide or out of his will because once the spirit of error possesses someone, the Bible says because they could not retain the word of God in their heart, he has given them to a reprobate heart doing what is not convenient. Many people are doing what is not convenient to them. They have no control over it. But thank God for the word of God. The word of God says, the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet. If you are a child of God, you are a prophet of God. If you carry the word of God, you are a child of God. And if the spirit of God dwells on the inside of you, your spirit is subject to you. No demonic spirit can be moving you you know, pushing you into fire, pushing you into water, pushing you into error. That's a demonic spirit. Your, the spirit of a prophet, or another translation said the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Plural. Hallelujah. So if you're a prophet of God, be led by the spirit of God. Listen to the voice of God. Listen to the spirit leading let they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Not they that go to the popular church. 
not those that mingle themselves with the largest church, whether the Catholic church, whether the Kerosene and Salophim church, whether the Celestial church, whether the Redeemed church, whatever, whether the mountain of hell and fire. They that are led by the Spirit of God, is the Spirit of God leading you? Or you don't see that, oh, people are rushing there, something must be happening there. You will be deceived. Or oh, probably you have been deceived by the devil. Revelation chapter 12 and from verse 7. So, whether physical war or spiritual warfare is from the time the devil has been dethroned, that has been declared. When he was in heaven, he caused war in heaven. How much more when he was dethroned to the earth? Why do we jump from one fellowship to another, from one religion to another? Is it not warfare that is making people to run helter skelter? But you don't need to do that when you know the true God, when you know the living God, when you have Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you will stand still and you will see God fighting your battles for you. Hallelujah. Verse 7. Then, what broke out in heaven? Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels also fought, but he could not prevail. And there was no place for them in heaven any longer. Verse 9. So the great dragon was thrown out. The ancient serpents who is called the devil and Satan, the one who deceived the whole world, he was thrown to the earth and his angels with him. He was thrown to the earth and his angels with him. Now, let me explain on that. The Bible talks about the old serpents. <laughs> the dragon was thrown out. Don't you know there are so many people today especially among the women who are nothing but serpents. I said I had a revelation sometime, and I saw pastors, they are rearing serpents. The old dragon is still bearing children. Don't take this word for, for <laughs> uh, ordinary. Don't just be fool in this world. You need to be fervent in prayers, in knowledge, in understanding. You need to be current with happenings around you. The old dragon. God gave me revelation. I saw if you are a Christian, you are not receiving vision. You are not seeing vision. You are not catching revelations. You are not having dreams, good dreams, not troubled dreams. You are, you are living in a, dang, a dangerous zone. Your life is not safe. Because if God wants to reveal anything to you, it might come through dreams when you sleep. Your spirit will not sleep. Because our God doesn't sleep nor slumber. So secret things will be revealed to you. Some general overseers' wives today are serpent, old dragon. The old dragon. And these are the people, I should tell you this, that will come out and be some general overseers too. They are like that. They'll be telling you, if I've added anything, you know, with God, let it be. It's a lie. They've not added anything, but they are dragons. If you have gotten to that level of spirituality in a demonic way, you don't need to add anything to it. In demonology, we were taught while we were in Bible school, serpent is the greatest of them all. And the Bible confirms it, that the devil is so crony, or, uh, uh, what? so soft too, than every other animal. That subtlety is still there about serpent, the old dragon, the highest power. So many religious set up, that is where they are seated. That is the source of their power. 
you are hearing from me now. I, when I was a prophet, it was one of the spirits that came out of me. God used me myself to cast them out. Don't be surprised. It's among the signs that are supposed to follow you and I if we are genuinely converted. This Signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. So, what is wrong with you? You are going up and down, looking for a deliverance, looking for a man of God to deliver you. It's one of the signs, one of the signs to follow every believer. At the name of Jesus, cast out devils. I was still young in faith. That this particular night, when there was nobody to deliver me, we were about to start a vigil. It has not started. And God sat me that outside. If you come to Christ, he will order your step. That day there was no place for me inside the one or two rooms we are using. So I was outside. I never knew the day of my visitation has come. Oh, if only you know the day of your visitation, you will not be jumping around. Mm -hmm. Now, that night, I've shared this several times, black ghosts line up, six of them before me. Those are the little, little demons. They entered into the goods. The greatest of them was this old dragon, serpents, came out of me, a prophet of doom came out and people saw it the witnesses a brother shouted serpents snake and that night i dealt with that brother i said you you will not follow me back home why was it you that saw the snake that brother wasn't being converted as at that time but he followed me to the meeting Everything was orchestrated by the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. Because serpent cannot just enter into goats, into tree, into... I'm telling you, serpent, old dragon, can walk inside a man, totality, complete man. Complete, not inside tree, not inside goats, no. I'm speaking from experience. That serpent entered into that brother. That brother is still alive today, but living a struggled life. He told me he was a pastor in the redeemed some time ago. Whenever I see him, I pity him. I pity him. He has not got it right. There must be a time of your deliverance, whether spiritual or physical. God decided to do my own physical and i thank god for that maybe i wouldn't have believed that my deliverance was complete and if anybody wants to try me they don't know the source of my secret the secret is that those powers that the devil possessed me with they have departed from me glory to jesus it can happen to anybody so i want to let you know there are so many people that are nothing but dragon, serpents, the greatest demonic power. That majority of them today, they use, they use it in establishing fellowship centers, churches. That is the head of all demons. Whether white garment, whether Pentiraska, whether spiritual, whatever, whether demonic or not demonic, the greatest of them, the old dragon, caused war in heaven, was the throne to the earth. This is the Bible we are reading. I don't just want us to just read in letter because the Bible says the letter kills, but the Spirit gives understanding. He was thrown to earth and his angels with him. So, the old dragon, the Satan, the devil, the Bible call him ancient serpent, ancient serpent, <laughs> ancient, full of wisdom, 
earthly wisdom, demonic wisdom, that can bring the whole nation down. Now, verse 10. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, The salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of, the, of his Messiah have now come. Because the accuser of our brothers has been thrown out. The one who accuses them before our God day and night. This is the secret. If you are accuser, the devil, the old dragon, serpentine spirit, is still with you. I am telling you, you are living a dangerous life. A delicate life. You are living a life without good future. Without a destiny. You are living a dangerous, delicate life. Verse 11. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb. So that old dragon can be conquered. On a daily basis, you feed yourself with the blood of Jesus. Before you can do that, you know the importance of the blood of Jesus. You know the blood was shed on the cross of Calvary. You have confessed Jesus. You have accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior. Religion is a scam. Any religion is a trap. If you have entered into any of them, you better come out. Jesus is the reality of peace and life. No wonder John 10, 10 said, The thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Many people, because they have good character, good nature, everything look good, you know, and they are, they, are, they are so gentle, that is the spirit of serpent, subtle in character. Now, and for that reason, you think you don't need to be born again. When you are not born again, you have no future, better future. When you are not born again, that is the only way God, the living God, provided for man. Because he said it is appointed unto man to die once, and after that judgment, if you are judged without accepting Jesus, you are failed woefully. Many people are dying today without the hope of heaven. Why must you die without making heaven? The accuser of the brethren is a spirit of demonic spirit, serpentine spirit. Lives with you, not outside of you. Lives among you, within you. Check it out. Has the accuser of your future been thrown out? Or is still with you? Is the one that will be accusing you day and night. Is the one that will cause you not to see good things in life. Is the one that makes you having terrible dreams. Is the one that is not allowing you to see the goodness of God. It's the one making you to run from one pillar to post, looking for solution where there's no solution. Because the accuser of the brethren is still there. It's a spirit, a demonic spirit, a serpentine spirit. Take note of it. Serpentine spirit. When you have it, you don't need any sham. You don't need anything added to it because that is the peak of the source of demonic power. is the father of them all. You remember what happened in Egypt? When Moses threw down his rod that turned to one snake? The Bible said there are so many snakes in Egypt. But that rod of Moses swallowed all of them up. You can conquer the devil. It's possible. The highest power Authority Satan has. You know his name, old dragon. <laughs> Ancient <laughs> serpent. Uh -huh. That is where he started from. So, but you can the Bible said they conquered him by the blood of the lamb. Don't joke with the blood. Don't go to bed without drinking the blood of Jesus. Covering yourself up with the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. 
The blood of Jesus has power. Hallelujah. So, verse 11. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not love their lives in the face of death. The words of their testimony. Because the testimony of Jesus is the gift of prophecy. If you don't have words of testimony, if you don't have the time you are born again, you are converted, you are a joker. You are joking in this wicked world. Don't forget what a wicked world. It's a wicked world. Nobody can change it. You are the only one that can make your life be glorious in a wicked world. You, can, you are the only one that can make the enemy not to touch you when you have casted out the evil spirit out of you. You don't need anybody to do that. God used me. I knew nothing about deliverance. And there was every place they've taken me to, they were afraid of praying for me. They couldn't, even the prayer they are praying has no effect. We see it all around. If prayers in Nigeria is having effect, the, the nation won't be like that. The nation is filled with crooked people. If you are not wicked, you can't make it in Nigeria. You must be wicked. blood soaking people. People who use others' glory to shine. These are the people we are living among them. You have to be crooked. You have to be wicked. You, you have to be abnormal. To be normal in Nigeria. Abnormality is becoming normality. If I, if I want to join the world, I'll say that Lord will help us. What help are we expecting? From him. He has done his best. Say for God so loved the world. John 3 16. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish. People are perishing. Believe in Jesus. Stand with Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. You can overcome the world. You are an overcomer. Whether the devil likes it or not. It's not by mind or by power. It's not by you following the biggest pastor, I, I pity you. You'll be surprised that the biggest pastor in the world is right in the hand of the devil. Because Satan that has deceived the whole world. Satan cannot fold his hand and see people entering the kingdom of God. He's the accuser of the brethren. People who want to, by force, make heaven. He's accusing them day and night. He wants to accuse you. The pencil you stole while you are in primary school. Satan want to remind you. He want to condemn you. He's there to condemn you. But when you come to Christ, the blood of Jesus will write off all things about your past. That is the joy of the Lord for you and I. Verse 12. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the earth and the sea. How dare you will live in the world that is under curse without Jesus and survive. So the devil is making people to be comfortable when they come to him. When they, are, they, they live their life in ignorance. When they didn't know they are left to their eyes. When they continue living under the seat of him. What to the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you with great fury because he knows he has a short time. That short time is the time given to you and I to live in this world. Whether 100 years, whether 200 years. Satan is not contending that with you. As long as you are in his camp, as long as you are bowed to him, do whatever you want to do within that short time. It's just a short time. 100 years, 200 years, every mistake you have made in life will be recorded for you. If your name is not written in the book of life, you will be doomed for life. It doesn't matter how many cows they slaughter for you after you have been buried. It doesn't matter how many people that gather together for you. It doesn't matter the, 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 the cloth they used to cover you, whether white or black. 
I am telling you the truth. You better repent today and come to Jesus. That is the only way, that is the only route for you to enjoy life in heaven, in eternity. The accuser of the brethren has been thrown to the earth. So the, the, the earth has become a struggled way of living. You have to struggle. But when you come to Jesus, he said it, come unto me, or you that labor, and you are heavy laden, I will give you rest. You can have rest in the midst of war. You can have rest in the, in the time of troubles. This is possible. Give your life to Jesus. What is making people to run health as scatter? Jesus will remove it off your shoulder. And Jesus will comfort you because he's the God of all comfort. Amen. He can comfort you in any situation. I am, sure, I, am, I am sharing with you what he has done for me. I was not supposed to be alive because of the testimony of my conversion. You can imagine the whole religion where I belong to, they wage war against me. And here I am today. Some people, they've given me time that I, I will no more be alive. So, because Ayakila visited me, accident upon accident, I lost my job, I lost so many things. But here I am. My love is secured in Christ, in God. Christ, God. The accuser of the brethren, he has not come to joke with us. I am here to let you get ready. Be awake. Fight a good fight of faith. Not only to be religious, be spiritual. Let the Spirit of God lead you. Anything you want to do, plead the blood of Jesus. Suck yourself in the blood of Jesus. You can prevail. You can enjoy life when people are dying. You can know peace where people didn't know peace. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. If you don't have testimony of salvation, I pity you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I want us to read. Don't forget what we are deliberating on. What a wicked war. It's not new. And it's not a news. Nigeria, there won't be anything that will change. Unless the people there change. The, 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 the pastors must change first because the Bible says judgment will start from his house. People whom we are looking on to as pastors, they are not pastors. They, they, they were merchandisers. They were working for their own belly. They are working for their own pockets. <laughs> oh, you better be careful. The Bible says believe not all spirit. Test have you tested the spirit working with your pastor? Have you asked God to reveal who your pastor is to you in your sleep? All these things are for you and I. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Not only knowing the Bible, reading the, understanding the Bible spiritually. And when you go to sleep, God will give you revelations. He will show you the, the, the source of the power of your pastor. Let me repeat myself. A lot of pastors and their wives, they are walking in the power of the old dragon, Satan, serpents. I said I had revelation. Pastors are rearing serpents. What do we expect? Atrocities in our churches today. People are not reliable. People are not dependable. People cannot be trusted. They go to church every day. Let us not even talk of going to mosque. We know this uh, from where they are coming from. Let us not even talk about white garment people. We know their background. Because all religions have been founded by the old dragon to deceive the whole world. He has now jumped into churches that we are used to know. Maybe Baptist, maybe Methodist, maybe Pentecostal, maybe Foursquare. I shared with us last week, somebody was receiving cancer from us. And I was asking to, I asked him to Google, 
if there is any four square around him. And he came out to tell me he could only see living, is it living faith? By uh, four square. Four square. Living faith and four square. You know, combining the two together. For what? So that you will see that that person, maybe he had his background from four square. He's, he has jumped to living faith. That is Oyedeko's church. And he want to use the method there. Join together with first square. Can two work together and so they agree? Human knowledge. Because the whole world has been deceived. Let me tell you, those of you who are rejoicing, because there's war between Russia and Ukraine, don't forget that, if it is not stopped, can become global war. Are you there or not? Those who are in Europe are not safe. Those who are in Asia are not safe. In America, they are not safe. If God didn't do something. Because the end of the age, we have just started seeing it. The Bible says rumors of war. Rumors means you will just be hearing it far. And by the time they finish with themselves, they will now extend the war. To other places. Okay, what about the spiritual warfare that is even going on? That is even more terrible. We have not finished with COVID-19. COVID-19 has robbed so many people of their money, not if not their lives. We just stop shouting up. Hearing people are dying of COVID-19. Now people are dying of the war that is going on. Innocent people. People who knew nothing about the reason or the cause of the warfare. What a terrible world we are living in. A wicked world. And the Bible says, wickedness spread like fire. You know, wickedness. Nobody, no government is attending to wickedness. Nigeria is even worse than every other nation. We were opportune to be in Ghana, and by the grace of God, God is doing wonders in our life in Ghana. You can see the, the I even prefer to be a Ghanaian than a Nigerian, if there's a way I can change it. Somebody saw me at the, uh, my working place, he said, I didn't look like a Nigerian. When I told him I'm a Nigerian, he said, no, you look more like a Ghanaian. And I was having my face mask on me. Because if I didn't use face masks, there used to be a court here that people believe I'm from Ghana. But my face my mask was there. And that man said, he not, I said, how? He said, because Ghanaians, they are gentle. They don't brag. But Nigeria, I never had it like that before. I thought over it. Could this be true? He said, Nigerians, they are restless. Nigerians, they talk anyhow. They brag. He said, but since I've been washing you, you are gentle. You are. I said, I didn't know what to tell him. I said, maybe because I am a pastor. But do I need to become, to be a pastor before I have godly character? That is my question for you, my brother. If you are quiet, you are quiet for yourself. And if you are stubborn, you are stubborn for your own destruction. Take life easy. Walk with Jesus. Trust Jesus. He's the only one that can be trusted. Don't trust anybody. Don't believe our spirit unless such a person is approved by God to you. And if you didn't ask, you won't get approval or you won't get answer from God. Walk out your salvation. We are working out our salvation. Don't let anybody lead you onto destruction. Don't follow, follow people to hellfire. Because big names of ministers, you didn't know they are serpents. Subtle in the seats. Clever people. I still love King Pharaoh. You know, he has a question. Say, who is God? 
that I will listen to Moses and let his people go. He, he, he opened up. He opened up. He didn't know God. Many preachers today, they didn't know God and they are pretending. Because of fake miracles happening in their churches. They fake God. They fake everything. They fake life. Living fake life. And people are following them. And the devil is happy because he knows the leader is under him. It's a serpent. The old dragon. So, once again, I told you, if anybody is telling you, carry Bible, if I've added anything except the call of God, don't believe them. The highest power is the power of the old dragon. When you have it, you don't need any herbalists. When you have serpents, you don't need any other extra powers. Because that is the head of all demons. I carried it before. Before my deliverance happened. Among others that entered into black goods. I so much thank God for my deliverance. And from that time, I've never remained the same again. My association with the, my former religion has cost me all that. So, think about yourself. Why the people you have associated yourself with? You are familiar with them. You die with them. They burn incense. You drink their water. They take you to the stream. Spiritual bath. All those kind of things. You think they are ordinary. They use those things to pass demons. Demons of no returning back to God. Demon, demons of destruction. Demons of eternity in hellfire. Those are the marks of the devil. When you, you don't know what the marks of Satan is, the mark of the mark of the beast is. They are not physical. You think those that with tattoo, that is the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast are spiritual. Because they are spiritually discerned. And that is why you must be spiritual. You will not join the class of people that will say, judge not, judge not. Because the Bible says, when you are not spiritual, you cannot judge right. And when you are spiritual, you judge right, and nobody can judge you when you are spiritual. Because you are confident of what you are saying. Because you are sure of what you are saying, and nobody can harm you for speaking the truth. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's see another passage of the Bible. If we can't finish the message, if Jesus tries to continue from there, Next week, First Timothy chapter 4. What a wicked world! You better see the world as it is. You better stop pampering yourself. Say, oh, beautiful place. Oh, UK is beautiful. And uh, Nigeria is handsome. Oh, Ghana is this and that. You better grow above that. If you do not have Jesus, people are coming to Europe to die. People are dying on the Mediterranean Sea. People, you know, they are dying in their homes. People have been brought. I, I saw something on, on uh, WhatsApp recently. A, a, a guy, I, I, I think uh, he sold uh, his property and he was building a, a, a gigantic hotel in Abuja only to come back and they found him dead in his own apartment in U.S. So, heaven is a good place you should aim at. Whether you are in America and you think you have arrived, whether you are in UK or you are in wherever, look at the people coming out of Ukraine with handbag, ordinary handbag, because if they have too many loads, they might not be allowed in, the, in, in some trains and their buses. They came back empty. Over 2,000 students. Nigerians are now offering them to complete their university course 
they will offer them. Look at the plan they had to have better quality education in abroad. Man proposes, God disposes. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, if you are not converted genuinely, you have no future. Your future is <laughs> it's under question mark. It can be crushed down. It can be crumbled. It can be, it can be disturbed by the accuser of the brethren. Who are the brethren? The brethren are the people who aimed to reign with Jesus. The accuser. And as I told you, it's a spirit. What you are hearing today in another dimension, many people, they are nothing but image of serpents. Image of, when they want to fight you, you begin to see serpent in your dream. I've seen it before. Maybe the reason why God casted all those animals out of me, the spirit of animals, I've possessed so many people, the largest numbers of people. People are animals. They are not human beings. The reason you see them behaving anyhow, the Bible said, deliver yourself from this world of corruption. Deliver yourself. Save your, another translation, call it a perverse nation. Perverse nation. You know, per perversion. The world that is upside down. Deliver yourself. No, I want pastor so, 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 to deliver me. If I belong to that church, they will deliver me. The churches of today, children are missing in so many churches. People are dying. People coming from prayer meeting, from Vichy, they didn't get home before they died. Why can't you think? Why can't you reason? Why can't you imagine that what is happening? The Bible said the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. All these things are happening in our fellowships, in our churches, in our, in our centers. And we think, <laughs> no, it's just by mistake. It has happened by mistake. Nothing happened by mistake. The accuser of the brethren is the one that has associated himself in so many gatherings. Hallelujah. We are reading from 1 Timothy chapter 4 and from verse 1. Now, the Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, some will depart from the faith. Paying attention to deceitful spirits and the teachings, <laughs> teachings of demons. Not that they are not teaching from the Bible, but the accuser of the brethren, the old dragon, has perverted, he has, he has possessed their tongue. Their tongue has become the tongue of a, <laughs> of snake, the old dragon. I wanted to say the tongue of lion, but snake, serpent, is more soft too than the lion. You know the lion behaves somehow. The lion, people hearing the name, people fear the lion, but snake, so soft too. There's uh, another who says green snake under the green grass. You know, snake can still camouflage. You know, camouflage. But lion doesn't hide his own anger. Oh, you know he's angry. You know he needs food. You will run away. Hallelujah. But serpent, when green snake is hiding under green grass. <laughs> It takes the grace of God to survive his beating. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, it says, paying attention to deceitful spirits and the teachings of demons. I said I had a revelation. I saw pastors, the members they are bringing up in their fellowships, they are serpents. God opened my eyes. And the Bible passage that came to my mind was when Jesus said, O ye generation of the vipers. Ah, I said this revelation truly. 
is from heaven. So, the people we are rearing and we think we are having members in our churches, we are counting 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 50,000. We are having an auditorium of 100,000. They are serpents. The devil doesn't stop you from having 100 million membership in your church. All is after is that heaven, they won't be there. Hallelujah. Let's wash out. Let's do things right. Let's ask ourselves, what a wicked world. I, I, I am praying that Nigeria will not make the same mistake in 2023. If they make the same mistake, if they are not selective, if the right people is not put, you know, at the affairs of the nation, <laughs> if that nation didn't collapse, people will continue to suffer. The suffering will be high. I don't know how much they are selling fuel or diesel right now in Nigeria. How will people not think of stealing? How will people be honest in what they are doing? How will people have peace of mind? When you wake up, five o'clock, you go to the first station, only to find out that by 6 p.m. you are unable to get fuel, even into your jerichans. Who will bring a change to Nigeria? The churches have been filled up with people, but we couldn't see the effects around the nation. Or, let's see verse 2 of 1 Timothy chapter 4. Through the hypocrisy of liars, whose consciences are scared or are sad, they forbid marriage and demand abstinence from fools that God created to be received with gratitude by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good. Let me say something from there. We declare fasting and prayer at the end of the year. What result are we getting? Let's ask ourselves. What a wicked world. You just punish people. So that their money, they will bring their money to the church. And they will suffer for fasting for 300 days, 500 days. days. And many people are dying in the process. If you fast for one day, you see the effect. You should know the reason why you are fasting. But your wickedness is still there. You are declaring fasting. The type of fasting God declared is not that type of fasting. To starve yourself or to abstain yourself from food. No. Do the right thing. Do what is normal. You sponsor candidates for presidency, for senate. All the senators, they are corrupt. Local government chairmen, they, they in fact, three months after they were there, they become multi-millionaires. If you didn't know someone that knows someone, you can't get justice. All this, we have to throw them away. Work out your salvation. A nation that is not saved is on the way to destruction. Nigeria is not a nation to emulate. You are not proud to declare. When, when I told that man, I said, I'm in Nigeria. I said, no, I don't look like a Nigerian. <laughs> And I said, maybe because I'm a pastor. But I asked myself, do I need to become a pastor Be before I know what is right? I thank God through the way he has taken me through. It has been a tough way, tough road. It has not been easy. But I thank God today that through that terrible experience, I'm able, because the more victory God is giving me, the more I forge ahead. I remember when I was at Jebode to pioneer Church of God Bishop, people came. They said they wanted to kill me, the students. And Alaji sponsored them. 
I remember today. This morning I remember because I used to think, you know, look into my past, mm -hmm. how God has been dealing with me. And this make me, you know, help me to know that God has never yeah. failed and he will never fail. Mm -hmm. It's a good God. It's have you tried God? You have not. I walked tirelessly at Jabode. Jabode happened to be my training ground. The, the, the Muslims are so large in Nijabodi as at that time. Today we have churches, even though the majority of them, they, they, they have to use their wife in sacrifice. They have to use their children in sacrifice. You see, Yoruba says uh, banana is getting... Uh, uh, planted. Uh, planted. Uh, it's destroyed. And we are saying it's ripening. It's ripening. Okay, then Baje and Lopo, we are deceiving ourselves. More churches are coming up. To rear snakes, serpents. The children we are rearing. I said, God opened my eyes to see it in a dream. Snakes, serpents. If you can't follow the devil, he will not supply you members. What about you members who has bewitched you? Not to seek for the truth. Who has bewitched you? That you have to join crowd who has be, bewitched you that you cannot sit down and count your blessings. Count what God has done for you. Look back where you are coming from. I said, I look back and I've not seen God fail in any way. How will I expect Him to fail in my life now? I was all alone at Ijebode. This student came. We were in, in an uncompleted building. The few members I had, I put them in one of the rooms who were praying. They rushed in. They went to upstairs. They searched every room except the one who were praying in. They couldn't open it. They didn't even see it. So they rushed in. They opened every other room except that room. How God did it, I don't know. And they rushed out. They now went to the signpost. They broke it. When they came in, they were shouting, where is that pastor? We need blood. Where is the pastor? Blood. And someone had had a dream. Someone in Abelkuta had a dream that they saw blood. And they cried for my blood. That night I couldn't sleep. Very early, around 3 o'clock, I got up by four o'clock. I stepped out and I went to the police station. I, I didn't know where police station was as at that time, Ibeba. So I met the police at the dog shops who directed me. I trek from Ondo Road to Ibeba. I trek and I waited for the DPO who was to be there at seven o'clock. I've been there around five. Glory to Jesus. They assisted me. Some mufti police officers followed me with guns. From the entrance of that street, every student in, in, in any of the houses, I arrested them. Yes, this is one of them. This is one of them. This is one of them. Because I didn't know, I didn't know them. But all this, they were students. Pack all of them in, in, in the cell. Their parents started coming all the way from wherever they lived. And I told them, I don't want them in that community. They must move out. And that was exactly what they did. I'm talking about 19, 1980, 89. 1989, 1990. Things were still better in Nigeria. This time I was referring to a family of three can spend 150 to 200 naira per month. Not 220,000. 150 to 200. Depends on what and what is your diet. What a wicked world. Spreading like fire. Get, getting worse and worse. 
Let's see Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 2. Then we we'll continue if Jesus tarries from there next week. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, 66 and verse 2. Isaiah 66, verse 2. 66 and verse 2. I read, my hand, okay, let me start from 1. Heaven is my throne. The earth is my footstool. What house will you possibly build for me? And what place could be my home? Verse 2. My hand made all these things, and so they all came into being. This is the Lord's declaration. I will look favorably on this kind of person. One, listen. Who is humble, submissive in spirit, and who trembles at my word? Are you in that category? Do you fear the word of God? <laughs> Do you tremble at the word of God? Are you a humble person? Or you are not better than rascal? Rascality is in your spirit. You're like a garage boys. You behave abnormally. Heaven is God's throne. The devil caused war in heaven. And it was the throne to the earth. What do you expect? Wickedness. What a wicked world we are living in. Are you part of the wickedness? Or you are humble at heart? Do you seek after God? Do you love God with the whole of your hearts? Are you submissive in spirit? Oh, submissive in spirit. And you tremble at the word of God. When you remember what the word of God says, do you have a change of mind? That person you have vowed to destroy. When you know what the scripture says, that person you have decided not to forgive in life. When you remember the word of God, do you tremble? Are you submissive? Do you let go of that person? Do you hand over that person unto God? Or you want to take vengeance that belongs to God? The vengeance is mine. Why don't you let God fight for you? I've seen God fighting for me, and it amazes me. It makes me to, to honor him. And rest. It makes me not to bother myself about taking vengeance over anybody. Vengeance belongs to God. What a wicked world. There's a Yoruba song that says, Permit me to sing it. If I'm allowed. Kilo shefu won to ole for one error. Kilo shefu or something like that. Say, what has that person done for you that you cannot let go, that you cannot forgive, that you cannot hand him over to God, to church? And you claim you are a Christian. Don't forget, religion is nothing but a trap. If it has entrapped you, look for a way to deliver yourself. It happened to me. The moment I knew I was entrapped into that religion, I took risk. The Bible said they do not fear their life, even unto death. I said to me, if I die, I will make heaven. And that is what Apostle Paul said, for me to die. Is gain and to live is for Jesus. 
Brothers and sisters, God bless you. Those that have been following us, I am telling you, there's no other route. There's no other way. To survive in this warfare, whether spiritual or physical, then for you to have testimony of salvation, the gift of prophecy, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Do you have testimony that you are saved? Not that you attended a big gathering and they, those that want to give their life to Jesus and you came out and think that is the beginning of salvation? No, because you don't know who is the man that ushered you out. If that person is not recognized in heaven, you won't go to heaven, no, because you can only give what you have. If that person that invited you to come to Christ didn't know Jesus, probably he has invited you to join his cabal of Satan. Satan that has deceived the whole world. Check yourself. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. God bless you. Till another time. You are welcome.